Hey, I am Asiruddin. You have to agree, we all programmers love shorter codes. Shorter, the better. So in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can automate hill climb racing using computer vision with just 25 lines of Python code. So without further ado, let's get started. The tutorial will be divided into three parts. First of all, we will do the basic thing that is setting up our webcam. At first, we will have to install OpenCV using the pip command. I will not install it as I have it pre-installed in my system already. You can install it using the command pip install opencv-contrib-python. Let's import OpenCV using the statement import cv2. Now we will create a video capture object named cap and pass in the argument 1. I am setting it to 1 as I am using an external webcam. You can set it to 0 if you are using your system's inbuilt webcam. After creating the video capture object, we will set its width and height to 600 and 400 respectively. Here 3 and 4 represents the width and height of the video capture object. Next we will create a while loop and set it to true. Now. I will read in the feed from my webcam frame by frame using cap.read method and store the frame in ing variable. Here the variable success stores the information if the feed from a webcam is being read in successfully or not. Next I will flip the frame horizontally using cv2.flip. Now we will display the stored frame using cv2.imshow where at first we will pass in the window name, let's name it camera feed. You can give any name you like. Then we will pass in the img variable. At last, we will set a delay between each frame using cv2.waitkey. I have set it to 1. Now as our webcam is set, let's run the code. Now as the feed from our webcam is being reading properly, we can move on to the next part of our tutorial. For tracking our hand gestures, we will use the module cvzone. You can install it using the command pip install cvzone. Now from cvzone.hand tracking module, we have to import hand detector. Then we will create a hand detector object named detector and set the parameters detection confidence to 0.5 and max hands equals to 2. We will extract all the information of our hand like our hand landmarks, if it is our right hand or left hand and store it in the variable hand and the process frame in ing variable. Now we can move to the next step that is setting the gestures. Before we set our gestures, at first, let's check out the control of the game. We have to press the right key to move the car forward and the left key to hit brake. We can automate these controls using our right hand, such as if our right hand is open, then the right key will be pressed and the car will move forward. And if our right hand is closed, then the left key will be pressed, making the car to stop. Now we will write a if condition where if our hand is present in the frame and our hand type is equal to write, then the code in the if statement will run. Notice one thing here. I have set the hand type equals to left for detecting my right hand. It's not a typo. Here you can see that at the beginning, we flipped our frame horizontally. So now our hand tracking module is classifying our right hand as left and vice versa. That's why I have set hand type to left. Now we will count how many fingers of our right hand is open. For this, I will use the method detector.fingersup, which will return an array of five numbers consisting of zeros and ones. Here one represents each of our fingers that are open and zero for each of the fingers of our hand that are closed. 
Next, we will display the total number of fingers that are opened in the top left corner of the frame using the method cv2.putText. Now, if I run the code, if I keep my hand open, you can see at the left corner of the screen, it shows all of my five fingers are open. If I keep my hand closed, it shows that all of my fingers are closed. Now, finally, we can head on to the final part of our tutorial. So let's go. For mapping my hand gestures with my keyboard controls, I will use the module Pyotigi. You can install it using the command pip install Pyotigi. After installing PyRTQ, let's import it. Now, if our total opened fingers is equal to 5, then we will press down the right key using PyRTQ.keyDown to make the car move forward. And in case if the left key was previously pressed down, we will release it using PyRTQ.keyUp. Now, vice versa. If our hand is closed, that is total number of open fingers, is equal to zero. Left key will be pressed down to break the car and right key will be released if it was pressed down before. Now finally the wait is over, it's time to play hill climb racing using hand gestures. After running the code, I will keep my display window at one side of the screen and give a click on the game window so that my game window is selected and our PyAutoView command runs on the game window. So let's start the game. If I open my hand, the car moves forward. If I close my hand, the car breaks. So our hand gestures are working fine. So let's play for a while. So this was Hill Climb Racing using hand gestures, see you next time.